Hey guys, it's Alex from Disciples here today with a very short combo video going over a unique combo that Nicholas Burgess, a very close friend of mine, came up with for the Infernoble Knight strategy, which is on screen right now. It's Augier plus Durendal and O Lion drawn. So if you bricked with your O Lion, um, you can still end on Charles Savage, uh, Gifried, and or Roradon. If you also draw Oliver um, or you just hard draw the gear free to, you can do the exact same combo except you also end on a herald instead of an auradon but yeah i'm just gonna go over this quickly so this combo is a very very like somewhat straightforward combo it's the usual or gear plus the rendal combo but it's if you draw o-line as well so i haven't seen this combo before where you're putting up gear free when you draw o-line uh putting gear free up as your fourth summon to protect from nibiru and you've also drawn o-line as your like in your opening hand so you can't combo um this can also be done if you just open like gear freed plus like equips like basically just like two warriors gear freed O line as well. Um, you, but you just don't put it down before you've used a old effect to send from deck. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. So in this line, we're sending or yeah, sending gear freed. Obviously, you can do it otherwise. But yeah. So adding Renault off to Rendell, summoning Renault here, adding back gear freed, especially the gear freed uh, after we've summoned Dissolved and searched. Um, Normally I summon it on the right side, but for some reason I summon it on the left side. Uh, Gifried summon, uh, Banishing Durandal, equipping Logia, sending to summoning Gember. So we're doing the, the standard line for Tatsu, which is why we added Red Layer here. Um, so I'm going to make Marcher, Marcher summon back to Gember, and then make Tatsu here. So, again, Tatsu's a weird card in this deck because it doesn't realistically play around Nibiru because you lose your Boral Savage, which is uh, an important interrupt. But um, in this combo, we're not making Savage. So we make a Mega here. Um, and then we've got our Fiber here as well, because we've got the Marcher and Link Cross. Summoning Hulk. We're going to summon the Jet from deck. We're not summoning the O-Line from hand. We're just summoning the Jet from deck. So some of you might be able to see where this combo is going. But we're going to make Charles here. And then... Jet discarding the O-Line to summon itself back. Uh, do not trigger uh, O-Line here, otherwise the combo will not work. Then we're going to summon Roradon, summoning three tokens. And then we're going to, big brain, we're going to use Omega to return O-Line and itself. Then using the final effect here, if this card is in the graveyard, target up one off card in the graveyard, shuffle both this card and that card from the graveyard into the deck. So then I can use Roradon to tribute two tokens to summon it from the deck. Um, if you open access to a level 1 tuner, so basically Oliver or say, yeah basically it's just Oliver, or Ac Oliver access, you can tribute your Auradon instead, so you can leave a level 3 token face up. And make Herald as well, um, which is pretty pretty impactful because it gives you an extra negate. And then you can get additional value by equipping the Rolands to the Charles and then sending that for Oliver, meaning that you're not wasting uh, addbacks from the Phoenix Blade. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video regarding Infernoble Knights. If you have any queries about the deck or any comments I made in the video, let us know down in the comment section below. But yeah, thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel as well as follow all of our socials in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsors at The Brotherhood Games, Metamats and Card Market down below for high quality products and one of the best tournament organisers in the UK. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video.